This short video will be going over the track markings, starts, and relay exchanges on a standard 400 meter running track. Now we'll begin looking at the race starting lines based on the race distances. The waterfall line is used in many races where they just want to give everyone an equal start. There are no staggers. Once anyone gets a step, they may start running ahead of another person. Uh, the races there commonly are the 800, 1600, and 3200 meter run. The green staggered start on your right is a one curve stagger which requires all runners to stay in their lanes or alleys for the first curve and then they may cut in when they have one step ahead of another runner. This is used for the 800 meter, 1600 meter, 3200 meter, and 3200 meter relays commonly. By preference you may use alleys which is combining lanes 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8, rather than using lanes 1 through 8. The second staggered start is a white staggered start. This is a two curve stagger that is used when any race is requires two curves of a head start in order to finish. Those races will be the 400 meter run and the 400 meter relay. The third staggered start is used blue. This is a three curve stagger and is used only during one race which is the 1600 meter relay which requires three curves stagger before runners may cut into the inside of the track. The fourth and final staggered start is a four curve stagger marked by a red line in each lane. This is used for the 800 meter run where the team is required to stay in their lane for two complete laps. Now we will be looking at the exchange zones for the 400, 800, 1600, and 3200 meter relays. The first relay we will look at is the 400 meter relay, otherwise known as the 4x1. This track, they will be using the yellow exchange zones to mark the 4x1 exchange. Exiting the first curve will be the first exchange where you see the opening and closing of the yellow triangles. Entering into the second curve, you see that this exchange zone is also paired up with the 800 meter relay. You notice the yellow triangles that will mark the opening and the closing of the 400 meter relay. And then finally exiting the second curve, you will see the 400 meter exchange zone once again, where the runners will hand off to the final leg as they complete the race. The second relay we will look at is the 800 meter relay, which is also known as the 4x2. It will use the red staggered start in each lane. The first exchange is the 800 meter exchange, the red triangles that will be in the entering of the second curve. You see the opening and closing of triangles in that lane. The second exchange will begin near the finish line. It will also use a red triangle that will mark the opening and closing of each exchange zone. The third exchange is back in the beginning of the second curve. This will use the yellow exchange zone as it partners with the 4x1 exchange, giving that one curve stagger as the runners will then complete the race. The third race we will talk about is the 1600 meter relay or the 4x4, which uses the blue staggered start, a three curve staggered start. The first runner will run their race all in their lane when they come to the blue triangle in their lane as they complete one lap, they will then hand off to the second runner. That second runner will run a one curve stagger and then hand off to the third runner, which will be using the common or green exchange zones as they open and close. The fourth runner will also do the same as they finish the race. The last relay we will talk about is the 3200 meter relay or the 4x8. This relay can start in various methods, whether waterfall or one curve stagger, but all exchanges will occur using the common or green exchange zone, which is 10 meters in front of and 10 meters behind the finish line.